what's up guys? All right, so today I'm gonna do a low impact workout for beginners because some of the other workouts I've been posting are a little bit crazy, I know. <laughs> so we're just gonna start with punches with one leg up, okay? So put your right leg up and then just go like this, slow. And you don't have to use weights. I'm using weights just to make it a little bit harder for me, but you don't have to. It's really good to work on your stability, especially as you get older. You gotta keep it all in check. Good. You gotta really concentrate, right? <laughs> okay, other other leg. Make sure you're balanced before you start punching. Really squeeze your butt, squeeze your legs. Feel it in your arms. Make sure your abs are tight. Everything's tight. Good. Your arms should be burning. If they're not, you need a soup can or something. <laughs> if you need to go slower, go slower. Just try to keep your bounce the whole time. Good. Okay, now we're gonna move into a, a squat, and if you can't go all the way down, that's totally cool. Go as far down as you can. All right, and then we're gonna do the same thing, punches. Twist your arm at the top. Oof, oof, oof. If you have to drop your weights, that's fine. If you want to pick your weights up, that's cool too. <laughs> Good. You should really have your arms burning by now. Good. A couple more. Ready? One more each arm. Good. Okay. Okay, so now we're going to move down to the ground. And we're going to start with glute bridges. So, I'm just going to lay on the ground. Put one leg, cross your leg, onto your knee. And then you're going to really squeeze your butt at the top. And go up and squeeze it. Squeeze it really tight. I love these. These are one of my favorite exercises. really tones your booty. And then give it an extra squeeze at the top. Squeeze it, squeeze, squeeze. Then an extra one for good measure. If it's uncomfortable to cross your, your leg over like this, you can always do it like this. Whichever one works for you. You can drop it. Just make sure you're really thrusting your booty up and squeezing it. You should really feel it in your hamstrings and your butt. All right, good. Now, other side. Squeeze. Sometimes my, sometimes I cramp up with squeezing so hard. It's, it, I'm squeezing so hard. Extra squeeze, oof. Like I said, you can put this leg out if it's more comfortable. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Good. You should really feel it. You should feel it without weights even. That's how good this one is. Good. Okay. Now we're gonna do a little bit of abs. So I'm gonna get down on the ground like this. Now I have back problems and I can still do this. So if you have back problems, it's okay. What I do is I put my hands underneath my butt. 
and it kind of helps stabilize me and it also helps the back and also your bones aren't digging into the ground put your legs straight out like this and we're just going to do little scissors good feel these and then we'll mix it up a little bit All right, now we're going to just change it up. One leg in, just knee to the chest, as far as you can. If you can't go all the way, that's cool. If you can only go like this, it's fine. Really squeeze your abs. We're really working our lower abs. Actually, we're looking, we're working all of our abs. <laughs> squeeze it. Good. Kind of get inside of our abs, our obliques. Really, really squeeze. It's so much harder if you just keep squeezing the whole time. Good. All right, one more thing. Open, close. Open, close. Good. Couple more. Two more. Good. Okay, stand up. Okay, great, so we're back up. Grab your weights, your soup can, whatever it is that you have. Put one leg up. I think we did, I think I did this one last time. All right, make sure you're balanced. <laughs> I'm wobbling a little bit, okay. Slowly punch. Remember, you don't have to punch if you can't, or if you don't want to. Just, just actually being able to stand on one leg is really good. We're stabilizing ourselves. We forget. We don't use it. We do lose it, especially when it comes to stabilization. Then, as we get older, little things make us fall. Right? <laughs> That's part of the reason. And we fall and get hurt. Oops, see, I'm not paying attention. Squeeze. Ah, I'm falling. Okay. Punch. Squeeze. Really squeeze your leg and butt. Good. And abs. Use those arms. We're working our shoulders right now. Good. Okay. Here we go. There, okay, switch legs. Whew, I was squeezing with my foot too there. All right, leg up. Make sure you're good, centered, stable. Here we go. I feel like I'm going slower than last time. I don't know why, this time I'm feeling less stable than the first time. I don't know about you. Slow and concentrated. Really squeeze every muscle. Really gives you a good workout. Oh yeah. Squeeze your booty. Good job. Just a couple more. Squeeze. I really love this because it really helps you stay in the moment. You really have to concentrate on what you're doing right now. And I feel like that's a big problem we always have in life. Not being able to stay in the moment. It's really important too. Not to worry. You can't really worry if you're in the moment, paying attention to everything that's around you, right? It's hard to worry. And worrying, as we all know, is just a big fat waste of time. You can't change anything. Worrying is just a waste of time. It's kind of like sitting in a rocking chair. Rocking back and forth, but you're not going anywhere. That's what worrying is. <laughs> Good. Okay, now we're gonna move down into our little squat or as low as you can go. Obviously not too low. And then we're gonna punch, but we're gonna punch faster this time. Good. It's a little easier when we're on two feet. <laughs> 
and this is just gonna really burn our arms out. If you can't go so fast, it's okay. You have to go slower, it's totally fine. Good, kinda twist your arm at the top. Squeeze your abs, put your heels into the ground. Good. All right, a couple more. I know our arms are burning. <laughs> One, two, okay. Whew. All right, we're gonna move down to the ground again. All right, so we're down on the ground again and we're doing glute bridges. So, cross your foot or whatever is comfortable. Squeeze and really push with your heel. If you have a hard time doing it, lift your toes up. That really makes you do it, right? Pay attention to what you're doing. Don't think about work, what you're going to make for dinner. Just give yourself the, this few minutes to really be with yourself. we got to take care of ourselves. Mind, body, spirit, everything. It's not just how you look. It's not just how you physically look. Everything plays a big role. I really believe that. Okay, other leg. And it's just, like I was saying earlier, it's really hard to be depressed or anxious or, you know, nervous about life when you really just pay attention to what is going on right now. It's really, it takes work. Our minds just start to drift so fast. we would all just do that a little more with people we love around us, our relationships would be so much better too. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Okay, two more. right where that bone is. Mine really sticks out onto the ground. Okay, ready? Looks like this, out straight, a couple inches off the ground. Just little scissors. Hold your stomach in. Squeeze. Squeeze your stomach. Mostly, really concentrate on squeezing your stomach. The rest, we don't care so much about. As long as you're doing proper form. <laughs> Good. A couple more. You can put your head on the ground if you need to, if you want to. You should really feel it in your lower abdomen. I know you're feeling it. Okay, now we're gonna bring our knees in, right? Slow and steady. You can go slow, fast. I'm concentrating right now on slow and steady and just really feeling those muscles, squeezing them so hard. Sometimes I see people at the gym just really going through the motions. And they are definitely not in the moment. And they're probably just wasting time because we're just doing this. 
and not really paying attention on squeezing our ab muscles and all of that. It's not nearly as good of a workout, if any at all. Okay, good. I think we have one more. One more, come on guys. Just one more of these. Scissors. Come on, you can do it. Okay, oh, good job guys. All right guys, good job. So remember, stay in the moment, not just when you're working out, all the time. Just try, try even, just try to do it, you know, a couple times a day. I, that sounds like it's not very much, but if you really, really are in the moment, you have to work towards that. I promise you it's so worth it. This is something that I've really discovered over the last couple of years and it's really enriched my life, being able to stay in the moment, you know, more and more. And less worry, that means less worrying. You don't need to worry. Don't worry, stay in the moment. Love yourself, give yourself a, few, a little bit of time each day to work out, even if it's 20 minutes, you can always find it somewhere. And also give yourself a little bit of time to sit and enjoy what you do have. Be grateful. Times might be hard. We all go through trials and tribulations. And I really do think it's important for us to stop and remember the things that we need to be grateful for. Because there's always something. I know sometimes it feels like the world is ending. <laughs> but really, it just does help if we write down what we're grateful for. So, I challenge you to actually write something down, write three things down as soon as you finish this workout that you're grateful for. I bet you, you will be in a happier mood when you go to sleep. All right guys, I love you and I'll see you soon.